Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to improve your shoulder internal rotation. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the YouTube channel. Today is all about shoulder internal rotation. Anatomy time. We'll use Tommy as an example. Internal rotation is your ability to take that arm and go down like this, whereas external rotation is going back like this. Now, what does this position look like? Tommy's about to do a snatch. In order to keep that barbell close to the body, we need an optimal amount of internal rotation of the shoulder joint. If not, that barbell is gonna have to loop away from the body. So if you're a weightlifter or a crossfitter and you do a good amount of snatches, you're gonna need a good amount of shoulder internal rotation. Now, how do you test for that amount of mobility? You're just gonna use a simple wall screen. We're gonna sit down by the edge of a wall and you're gonna make sure that your back is flat on that wall, so don't overarch your back. Arms up at about 90 degrees, head against the wall. And from here, keep the back of your shoulder on the wall and just go as far as you can down before losing any of those contact points. So from here, if I go down like this, Elbows at 90, I'm about right at about that position right there. Any further, and my shoulder pops off the wall or my head comes about. Now that's not a ton of shoulder internal rotation. Pretty tight because we've been filming all day and I haven't done any mobility work in this yet. So how do we improve that limitation? Now, if you were to Google how to improve shoulder internal rotation, a common stretch pops up called the sleeper stretch. This is what it's gonna look like. You get on your side, and in this position, you crank down like this. Now, the reason I don't like this stretch is because even though you're working internal rotation, it's often performed incorrectly where people jam down in the front like that and they just get a lot of stretch in the front side of their shoulder. This is not what we're looking for. You're basically just jamming the front side of the joint together. This is just going to irritate things. It's not gonna be helpful for improving that shoulder rotation long-term. It's just gonna make your shoulder really angry. So instead of being uh, in a position where we tell you how to perform this stretch that's often very difficult to perform correctly in uh, the most optimal way, I'm just gonna show you something that's much easier to perform. There's less risk of error and it's just as good for improving internal rotation. You're gonna do the cross body stretch and then some soft tissue work. So you're gonna take your arm and you're gonna go across your body. Now let's demonstrate on the right arm. I'm gonna here, I'm gonna pull across my body and I'm gonna bring out a really good stretch on the back side of my shoulder. Research has shown that the cross body stretch can be just as good as the sleeper stretch when performed correctly at improving internal rotation of the shoulder. And this is a much easier exercise to perform that often doesn't have that risk for just jamming the shoulder into a bad position. So if you're doing this correctly, you're gonna feel a really good stretch and most people can do this without having any pinching pain. So something like this, just a couple sets of maybe 10 seconds, we don't need to do very, very long stretches, can be very helpful in improving internal rotation. So we're gonna do a couple of these and then we're gonna do some soft tissue work to the backside of the shoulder. So right there, that's three or four of those, a couple seconds. I'm now gonna take a lacrosse ball and we're gonna focus on these muscles in the back side right here that often become very stiff, especially if we're in poor posture positions throughout the day. So we're just gonna trap that lacrosse ball against the back side of the shoulder, and I'm going to roll and see if I can find any stiff spots. Okay, right there, I'm already finding a few. And from here, I'm just gonna go across the body. A lot of times you'll feel something about right in that back side shoulder. Again, we're not trying to be on the lat, I want you in the posterior shoulder. So roll around the back, find some of those spots, and then when you do find a spot that's a little bit tender, you're gonna tack it down and then move the arm up and down. Kelly started out of mobility wad. Now the ready state would always call this the tack and stretch. Poor man's ART, my favorite way of explaining it. Basically, we're just going to smash something that feels a little uncomfortable muscle-wise, and then you're gonna move over the top. And what we're doing is actively releasing some of those tissues that are prone to being very stiff and limit our mobility. So something like that, about a minute. Let's retest. Always test and retest. You're gonna sit down on the ground. Again, get back up into that shoulder, 90 degree position. And right there, I can already feel, look how much further I can go down without the backside of my shoulder. Now it's popping up. 
right there, I already gained at least 10 to 20 degrees of range of motion. What that means is that I'll be in just a more optimal position for doing any snatches or cleans. Now, you don't need a crazy amount of shoulder internal rotation to do snatches, but you do need an optimal amount. And what happens is that if you are missing that rotation, the entire shoulder complex is gonna have to dump forward in order to make up for that to keep the barbell in front of you so that it doesn't loop around. And eventually, you either have those two options of being inefficient with your technique or inefficient with your shoulder complex. One is gonna make you a poor lifter because you're not gonna be able to lift as much weight. The other one just leads to eventual potential injury because we're using poor shoulder mechanics in loading it over time. So I hope today was uh, very simple for you guys to understand how to screen shoulder internal rotation, when it's appropriate to do a couple different exercises and when it's not, and how you can easily improve that range of motion to be a little bit more efficient, especially for my weightlifters and crossfitters who need improved rotation to be just that much better in their movements, especially with the snatch. Again, if you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Until next week, guys. Happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people have